thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us on Ghana Tonight. Well, let me start with you. We've seen this video that what we just played, but really, what got you to, to the telcos to, to ask these questions about how many Ghana cards may have been registered with your... That's, that's how many SIM cards may have been registered with your Ghana card detail without your knowledge. Thank you very much, my brother. First of all, I had some complaints, um, some were much. Um, I had certain security personnel also drawing my attention to something they felt was quite dangerous and uh, letting them arrest innocent people. So I decided to follow up. I remember going to Tessano police station where I had a tip of that. Uh, one fraudster was arrested in that same uh, scenario. That is basically, as I explained in my video, uh, that was the strategy that was used in getting these SIM cards. So I decided to uh, follow up with my Ghana card to find out how many SIM cards were connected uh, to my Ghana card. And I was quite surprised with um, the way I was received. So it made me a bit curious I see. Uh, to follow up and get this story out. So what did you find out uh, after you uh, went there and asked the questions? Yes, when I got there, um, strangely, I was told they couldn't uh, disclose how many SIM cards were connected to my Ghana card. Uh, that was quite funny because um, the Ghana card is mine, though it's a national property, but my details are entailed in that card. And so I had a right to know who probably might be using my identity uh, in a form. So I called the MTN headquarters to complain that I came to one of their branches, specifically the one directly off the busy internet, uh, to do some inquiry. And the response I'm getting uh, is quite surprising. So I was told, oh, okay, that is the directive they've been given, that they can't just uh, give for some reasons that they were given that I wasn't satisfied. They can't give uh, how many SIM cards were connected uh, to my Ghana card. So I asked the gentleman, okay, enter the system, check this number. Is this number registered? He said, yes. Is this one registered? He said, yes. What about this one? He said, no. Then I said, but that is also my card that I registered Precisely. just three days ago. He said, eh, maybe it has not reflected. So I realized, no, it was an issue. And I remember um, during my registration process, I had an encounter that got me thinking. Um, the process was almost through. Then the gentleman told me, boss, your network no aqua down. This is a sign mm -hmm. I said, okay. So he started the whole process again. So after going through the process, I realized at the first one, he virtually did everything. So how come at the tail end, he's just done everything and telling me the system uh, had a challenge. So I have to start again. So that uh, brought about the curiosity and leading to a lot of complaints. After the video went where a lot of people have called with several, several, several uh, challenges that they face. In fact, there is one audio I sent to your producer right. where one gentleman was arrested. Um, but actually, it was due to impersonation. Someone had used his data to register, uh, to defraud someone. He went to register a merchant SIM, and in the process, he was told the SIM could not be, uh, the process could not go through. He left not knowing they had done the registration and sold it to these frosters and they used it in duping others. So See. it's a serious concern. And, and it's, it's, it's indeed a serious concern. In fact, Kofi, you're not alone in this. Prior to this conversation, we have close to a thousand people who have sent us messages on Facebook also complaining about this, that they found out that their Ghana card details have been used to register SIM cards that do not belong to them. Uh, but help our viewers to understand this. How, how concerning or dangerous is this, Kovi? That is, that is exactly, that is exactly the uh, challenge. Um, and you know, the police will arrest you, take you through the process before they get to know you are innocent. That time, the embarrassment that you would have gone through and the challenges that come with it. So this is a concern. I don't know how much uh, it, I mean, the, 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 the length to which someone will go with the card, but this is just 
the little that from the layman's point of view, I can say the card, uh, the SIM card registered with your data could be useful. In fact, we've just got a, a, a victim also joining us right now on, on Zoom. Um, Nana Kojo, your boy, Siama, is a victim of this, this situation we've just been talking about. Nana Kojo, thank you so much for connecting with us on Ghana tonight. So tell us, I mean, how did you get to know that your Ghana card detail has also been used to register some SIM cards that do not belong to you? Hello, Nana Kojo, can you hear me? Hello, Nana Kojo, can you hear me? Um, hello, Nana, can you hear me? Yes, if, please, I can hear you. Great, great, great. Now, now, I was asking, how many SIM cards did you find out have been registered with your Ghana card details that do not belong to you? About uh, 10 of them. 10 yeah. SIM cards? 10 SIM cards. Um, five Vodafones and then five MTN. Two different networks. Two different networks. And it was just this often that I found out Vodafone is also having the same issue. But before today, uh, it was only uh, MTN that that was having that uh, that issue. So ten SIM cards have been registered with your Ghana card detail that does not belong to you, or all those SIM cards exactly. don't belong to you. Yes, I didn't do that. I did not do that. I see. So when yeah. you went to these telcos offices, what did they tell you? I mean, um, what detail did they give you? Yeah, I, I've only went to MTN office. I'm here to go to the uh, Vodafone office. So like I was having challenges with one of my Momo uh, accounts a few weeks ago. So I called MTN customer care and then I was informed they were doing some uh, maintenance. So the issue will be resolved as soon as it is done. Since then, I've been having issues with my network. The other day, uh, my other number was having connection issues. So I went to one of their offices to check what was the cause. It was when that I found out that uh, about five numbers have been registered with my Ghana card without my knowledge. So I tried to uh, buy another SIM to register. The lady told me uh, I can't do that because I've exhausted the, the 10 number uh, uh, registration limit with my Ghana card and there were something conflicting data issues. I was surprised. I had only registered three SIMs. That is two MTN and then uh, uh, one Vodafone with my Ghana card. As at that time, that was last week, Wednesday, when I went to the uh, uh, office, the office, MTN office. So I queried them. How can my Ghana card be linked to different numbers without my knowledge? In fact, the, the three numbers, I went to the offices to do it by myself. I didn't send anyone. So I was surprised the comment that the lady made concerning that, that, that issue. So um, uh, they, they, they gave me some form to fill. I learned uh, it was a complainant form. So that was... Um, Thursday, and then they told me that they will call me from their main office, that is from Accra, so that they, they verify whether I am the one that uh, did that uh, complaint for them to delete those numbers from the system. So uh, Friday, I called them myself, and then the lady said, once they have promised to call me, I have to wait for their call until they can do something. So about five minutes later, I received a call from them. And then uh, the person that call asked whether they should still go ahead and delete those numbers. And then I, I gave them the go ahead. So I was supposed to go there yesterday to check uh, whether indeed they have deleted those numbers. But when I went there, there were a lot of queues. So I decided to come back home so that mm -hmm. the next day that is today, I go again. So this morning, I called their customer care to find out whether they have deleted those numbers. And then the attendant 
told me that they have indeed deleted those numbers. And I asked him, so how many numbers that they have in their system that are linked to my Ghana card right now? And then she told me they have three Ghana, uh, three SIM cards. But the way that the lady was, you know, talking to me, you know, uh, I didn't like. So I had a friend who works with MTN, one of their offices, and I called him to check whether what uh, the lady told me is true or not. So uh, he called me and said, hey, Charlie, what work are you doing that, that you are using all these numbers? I was like, ah, work. How many numbers do you see there? It was then that he told me five numbers have been registered uh, with Vodafone lines, and then other five numbers have been registered with MTN lines that I am not aware. I see. So, yeah. So, so the, what that means is that they, even though, yes, you were given a complaint form to fail, they followed up with a call that they were actually going to take action and delete the numbers. That is yet to be done, at yeah. least as of today, when you checked with um, another office of the telco that you're talking about, correct? Sure. Nana, Nana Kojo, uh, thank sorry. you. I really appreciate you sharing this with us. In fact, let me just let you know this. With the messages that we are getting, from so many people across the country, you are not alone in this. And, and so please let us know if eventually action is taking and then the numbers are deleted, okay? Kofi, when you went to the telco's office, uh, what did they also tell you? Did you? Were you also made to fill this complaint form? And, and what next? Unfortunately, they were also lost. Um, when I explained, they said, oh, Kofi, that is not possible. I said, okay, let me take you through the process. I've gone to register my SIM card. I sit down. My bio is taken. A picture is taken. My Ghana card is taken. The details are entered into the system. I'm supposed to get a SIM card. The one doing the registration tells me, oh, boss, your system has a problem. We're having a challenge. So we have to take your fingerprints again, take you a picture again, and all the process. How sure am I that the first process truly didn't go through? Then uh, top officer at the MTN, he said, hmm, in fact, you have drawn my attention to something that I have not thought of. He said, okay, um, send a mail, then I'll forward it for them to see how they can address this. But this definitely will be an NCA issue, but send us a mail. I said, okay. So it was through the conversation that I proposed, then why don't we have a short code that any ordinary person can just enter the Ghana card details and be able to know how many SIM cards are connected to this Ghana card. He said, eh, that is also very good. That is all, but this one, you know, we can do it. That will be the call of the NCA. I tried reaching the NCA, that was impossible. But uh, being convinced with the processes and what I found, I decided to go ahead with the video. I see. Engineer Dr. Kenashibe, how would this uh, short code that you we are just getting to know in fact we have some some information from the nca let's let's put it up before engineer you come in um this is the information that we got from the nca after these complaints started coming through that's what you see there. the ncn the telcos have already been actively working on a short code for individual subscribers to verify the number of sim associated with the ghana card you just type the short code on your phone and after a verification process using your ghana card pin the number of sims associated with the ghana card will be displayed there will be no need for subscribers to physically go to the telco to verify same when the short code is operational so by the end of april this month, they're saying a short code will be operational that you can, we, we can all use to check how many <laughs> SIM cards have been registered with our, with our Ghana card detail. So that's what you, 